Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of Arctic's latest and greatest Freezer 34 eSports Duo in red. I'm also going to be doing a visual comparison between this and Arctic's Freezer 33 eSports 1. Now this was going to be in the darkest light build and actually I did a build video of it. I'll link it right up here where I did the installation of this guy. Now as I do the unboxing I'm going to compare and I think this is going to work out a lot better than this one did but anyway we'll leave that for a little bit later on but anyway come over here real quick and I'll show you what's inside the box. Alright so here she is again the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo in red and then so in the front we can see the fan itself and then freezer 34 esports duo arctic 10 year warranty and then their qr code tower cpu cooler with bionics p series fans and push pull configuration and then tower cpu cooler with bionics p series fans and push pull configuration just in a bunch of different languages some marketing stuff here, pressure optimized fans and all that other good stuff here. And then just function diagram where everything goes, what everything's called and all that good stuff. And then specifications here. All right. So let's go ahead, open her up. All right. Thank you for choosing Arctic. Not 100% happy call arctic support they have their numbers here happy and share your experience arctic all right little box in the top a little bit hard to get out of here all right so here is the back plate now this guy only comes with one back plate. All right, we can see that here. It's actually a very thick back plate. Little pouch of MX4 thermal paste. Little brackets on here to go on the fan clamping it down, holding it down to here. Well, and then a bunch of screws and all that good stuff. Now, this is compatible with Intel sockets 1151, 1150, 1155, 1156, and 2011-3. And then also with AMD socket AM4. Didn't put it in correctly, but that's okay. <clears throat> and nothing else in here. Then we have the fan itself. All right, so she is huge. Then this is a push pull. So this is pulling, this is pushing out. So definitely nice. Expect to get some good thermals here. So as I read in the box, this comes with Arctic's latest Bionics XP fans to increase static pressure up to 33% compared to Arctic's older F series fans. And then it has 54 aluminum cooling fins for better heat dissipation. And I didn't get the number and I'll go ahead and list it here. You can see these are a bit thicker than these here. Okay. So these fans go from 200 RPMs all the way up to 2100 RPMs. It does have a zero dB fan mode and fluid dynamic bearings for these guys. And then you can see here and here the thermal coating to improve micro turbulence. And then down here, when we pull this off, 
see that right there. It does have direct touch copper heat pipes, and these are just coated right over here. And one thing that I am pretty excited about, and actually I'll get to that in one second, just taking this out. So now you might think because this has two fans, it's gonna take up two CPU fan headers, but actually the way that this connects, and actually I'll just do it this way, these fans connect into each other with their PST. So right here, and then this one connection plugs into a single fan header, powering both fans. So PWM PST for synchronous fan control. Okay. And then we can see up here the Arctic logo. Okay, so one thing that I am excited about that might help me out. Is you can see here and it's not by much is it let's see oh so you can see there how much taller this one is down here and let me get a better angle for you guys so we can see right over here this is about a little over an inch okay and or let's say 1.25 inches and then we can see right over here this is slightly over an inch and a half so they've done this to optimize ram compatibility for larger ram heat sinks now also you'll notice right here is the back plate and then here is the piece that latches onto the heatsink. Now, these don't go, that little plate and the back plate don't connect. These go in between them. So, let me give you a better example. So, for example, you see how I, I left these on, but so, and the system. It would normally go like this, the back plate and then this here. Now, in between this and this is going to be this. So then, this is going to feed into it just like this. And then of course, this is gonna be pressed onto the CPU but then you'll also notice that this little plate right down here, see that? Okay. And I'll put it down again so you guys can see it. So that little plate down there is smaller than this plate. This plate's a little bit taller. So that's going to help a little bit more getting the 34 a little bit higher than the 33. Now, I haven't installed it into the system just yet, so this is just what I believe. And of course, what I've seen in the picture, that gives you a better example how this one's a little tiny bit lower than this one. Yeah, and actually, maybe it's kind of hard with the fans in the way. There you can see it, and actually what I'll do is, let me just remove this one real quick. You can see that right there, right next to each other that difference right there. Then the other thing to note is whereas this one is smooth, this one has little ridges. See that right there, like little teeth? Whereas this one is just completely smooth. So this should help break up the air a little bit. But of course I'll do some testing all right, so that's about it for now. Again, this is an unboxing overview and a comparison of the Freezer 34 Esports One Duo, Arctic's latest, and the Freezer 33 Esports One. My next video is going to be how to install this bad boy. 
And then of course I'm going to give you some numbers, performance and all that good stuff. Iggy out. See you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.